Alrighty then, just do your worst with your stabled camera and your Alex Jones impression. Uh... I mean, there is a teleporter just right here. Where the hell are you gonna take me? There is super spooky secret anywhere. And there's pillars. Or do I just hop in that teleporter and just accept my fate? Uh -huh. I'm sick and tired of these games. Someone's going to pay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're doing one of these. Uh-oh, I just spun around like crazy and I don't know what direction we're facing. Oh no. <laughs> what which way am I facing? Uh hip. 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 How would I even know if I'm in a different place? Does something about them indicate which one's right? Visibly? All the lights look the same. The lights on the doors look the same. The lights on the pillars look the same. Am I supposed to like trial and error combination? Cause like every room looks the same that I'm teleporting through. If I even am changing rooms. Which like how would I even know? Help me. I can't wake up. Save me. Are you real? Is this for real? Are we doing this for right now? I don't know my current coordinates. Apparently I'm in the office. Um... Oh. There you are. That's a signifying symbol. That's E. So I'm in E right now. B. C. C. K. B. C. Okay, those portals aren't giving much to go on. D. C. D. They like weirdly alternate. D. D. That doesn't lead to anything happening. Let's try to come up with a system for this. Top left one goes from C to D. Top right one is B. Is it always B? C. 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 B. C. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a system, honestly. D? I can kind of tell that I'm changing rooms, but I can't entirely figure out what it means. B. What in the world? I don't... B. What? How do I get it a B? I can't escape. C.
I'm feeling really trapped by C now. How was I getting to D before, I wonder? That's how? Okay. E. I haven't been to E forever. Like, forever, ever. Uh. What? Uh, quick save. I escaped. Oh, thank God. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Excuse me? I'm gonna charge over there into that room. Before you become a problem. Oh god, is there another one? Oh, all of the rooms opened. Oh! The teleporters are defeated, basically. Oh my goodness. Oh no, what the hell are you? You glowy nightmare. Oh, I'm gonna die. Are you serious right now? Oh, this is- this is how you die. Oh my god. Good luck, shield. Hope you're worth it. Oh my god. Uh... Time to put that other sword on. How's that for bonus damage, you bastard? Ah! Running away! Huh, get out of that doorway. I'm a lot of bonus- I'm a lot of energy mostly, so I'm just gonna give up on that 10% extra tech. Ah, crap. This is not good news. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got a little bit of motion there. Uh, go, go, go. No. 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 Go away. Need you out of the way. Okay. Wow, this got messy fast. Hey, if you could just politely give me your health, that'd be nice. Is that one of those explodey dudes? Oh, they're all colorful because the those things are giving them energy, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> your health? Uh-oh. Do not? Ah, crap. Ah! Uh, wow, I do so much damage with this weapon. Oh, uh, life leech. Oh, life leech all day. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Four? Hit that four button? There we go. Oh, did I just use four on the thin air? Oh, my goodness. This escalated in, like, the worst ways. The sword's awesome. Holy crap. Give me that health back. Look at the damage I do. I don't even specialize in using these kinds of weapons and I'm destroying this dude. Hey, buddy. Nope. Oh, you're an acid one, huh? Well, slowly skid over here because I need some health. And you seem, to you seem to be happy to politely stay away from the fight while there was a bunch of enemies. And now it's just me and you. What's up? How you doing? Uh oh. Yeah, you kind of perfectly... You have attacks that are perfectly shaped for this kind of thing, aren't you? Aren't they? Ooh, chest. Teddy bear. Neat. Huh. There it is. I was like, so that attack's got to be coming soon, right? Can I use my map yet? Nope. Oh, there's another one of you. Huh. I better get out of here. Wait, there's another enemy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this, I'm way less done than I thought I was. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, you get kicked off the ledge once and the whole thing's over. Oh, that blows. Ooh, a chest. There's the one. I'm just gonna try to not move around too much and see if I can get a bunch of fighting done... Uh... Before... The golems start reaching me and see if that works out for a bit. 
Better reduce the number of, of opponents quickly. There's a golem coming. Not one over there right now. Because if I fight them fewer uh, in lower numbers, then I get more health preservation. Oh, did he do a linear attack? Yeah, I thought, that he, I thought that was the only one he had, but he did the other. He did something else. Acid all over the room. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch these out now. That was definitely past the point of my energy attacks being the priority. Ow. I have to be very careful around that guy. He'll kick me off a cliff. I'm in a bad spot again. Just gonna try to power through it for a bit. Come on. Look at that crit. Come on, die. You can't be this hardy, come on. There we go. Shotgun dude, where you at? Oh, spider dude's there. Oh, that's not good. Someone's already behind me again? Oh, Jesus. Enemies for like infinite range. Come on. Well, that's basically the worst case scenario. Ow, could you not? Ow, could you not? Come on. That life leech up. Oh no, he died right when I used life leech, so I, I wasted the energy on no one. There we go. Is he dead? Okay, I'll take it. Oh. And we're gonna be very careful about this. I'm gonna quick save. I need to not fall off the cliff again. That was... Oh, man, that sucked. I'm gonna not circle straight around you because you could kick me off a cliff. I'm just gonna take every hit you can dole out. Shield seems to be helping. There we go. Get that health back up. Thankfully the dam- I think the damage I take heals me. How are there more enemies? What the hell? How am I not running out of these guys yet? This is absurd. I need this guy to- I need this guy to die. If I- if I try to dodge around at all, he could kick me off a cliff. But I just need to s stick it out. Come on, life leech. Yes, this guy will run away. He's a t he's a he's a caster. Oh no! Don't do that. What? Okay, where are all these guys coming from? What the hell do I do at some point? Uh, what? What? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to actually start using consumables, obviously. This is, like, un undoable, otherwise. Unless they're all being conjured, are the white one- are the uh, energy-looking ones conjured? Is that why they keep showing up? Let's- let's hunt for casters this time around. Maybe the- maybe he's literally conjuring them? Come on. Hack away. Come on. Did I beat him? He might be summoning them. That might be a legit interpretation of what's happening. Anyone else coming right now? Or is it just you? Uh oh. Yeah, the golems aren't, aren't summons, if any of these are summons. The problem is I don't know if a white enemy, or glowy enemy, or whatever, ethereal enemy, whatever you want to call them, I don't know if it's a summon, or just an energy shield, or an empowerment spell, or... Like, I don't know if it's a buff, or if it's a conjuration. It looks like a conjuration, the way his body goes away. They might not be real. At least you can life leech him. Ah, shit, this guy. I don't see this caster anymore. I don't know if I beat him, or if I just made him teleport away, though. Because at first I thought I teleported- I th at first I thought I beat him, 
last time, but then I sh he shut up later. But I don't know if it was the same one or not, because they look the same. Alright, so that's him down. I'm doing healthy now. I'm healthy now, at least. Deal with you. There we go. I just don't want to be in your energy. Your negative energy. There we go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I might keep avoiding you. I haven't had to use my... Yeah, let's definitely save now. I haven't had to use any of my energy shields. Woo! I mean, I haven't had to use any of my repair kits. Seems like they may have wanted you to use them, though, because I... They're around. Lots of chests. Holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna put these in the bottom so I can keep track of them being new. And I'll we'll take a look, we'll take a closer look at them later. Right now I'm looting the room while running away. For no real reason, I should just fight him. Wow. Whoa. So this was hard for a reason, right? Because like this is like the hardest fight ever, apparently, judging by the enemy count and the, uh, the consumable count. Yeah, this was probably a time to use a healing kit instead of just instead of trying to bogart them or conserve them or whatever. That seems like a, it seems like a, this was a perfectly reasonable time for me to heal myself, but I did, but I got through it without doing it anyway. Through the power of running away and using Superior Drainer. Well, now I've got 18 waiting for the next, the big final fight, hopefully. And I'm just gonna go beat this dude up. But, and I've got enough energy restored. Oh, that's where you are. I didn't even see you there. Sneaky. Aha, I dodged it for once. Now I've got a Mega Sword. Oh, this sword is amazing. Oh my god. I might be- I think I'm done with that crowbar. Look how much damage it does. I don't even have a good hit- hit damage on it, and it does that. Its base damage is not amazing necessarily, but it does 200 bonus damage. It cr it, uh, caps out every single time at exactly 200. There we go. Ooh. Boy. Well, that wasn't very relaxing. <laughs> Satisfying. Took it down. Man, Giant Slayer, you're scary. What's this? Earth Splitter. Sim similarly dramatic name. Has a chance to deal bonus damage in an area around the target and stun enemies hit. Oh. So 40% chance of doing 50% splash damage all around me with a 4 second stun. Ew, I touched my glasses. <laughs> I was repositioning myself and reached up for my glasses and managed to just like put a just smear my hand straight across the glasses. I'm like, no. Now this must be cleaned, which it has been. It's like the same hammer, but with a cool effect added to it. So that makes you pretty pointless, right? This is this a chest here? Cool. Put you away. Goodbye, Siege Warhammer. You served me well. No, you didn't. I never used you. Elite Discharger. Isn't that what I'm using right now? Superior Discharger. So the Elite is the same Discharger, but 30% more damage. One more second of shock duration, meaning you take less damage, which is nice to have. Cool stuff. Alright. I'm all Elited out now. So that's cool. Why do I still have the Doom Blaster? Doom Guard Blaster. 50% stun chance, I guess. But this thing's higher damage and more badass and gives me bonus points. I don't think I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use this ever. Seems safe to say. The master outfit. Two seconds. Plus two energy regen. What was this one? Plus 0.8 regen, but then slightly faster recharge speed. Yeah, that, that recharge speed is just not worth it. Maybe the repair percentage, but not definitely not the recharge speed. 10% recharge speed is not worth losing that much energy regen when in endurance matches the regen 
of my energy is definitely more important than uh, how fast my recharge speed is of the uh, the skills themselves. Which was pretty clear from the get-go, pretty much. Plus 20% to all weapon damage. That's slightly tempting to hold around. If you... You can... Can you change gear during combat? Like your chest piece, too? I might change... In some scenarios, I might use up all my, my, all my energy to beat some dudes up. And then I could almost see myself switching to this for the 20% more weapon damage and then start wailing away with the giant slayer using that, maybe. It seems like a slightly questionable decision, still. Sophie's teddy bear. Well, I got the teddy bear. So that mission's accomplished. How are we doing on secrets? One out of three. Well, I know where to take the teddy bear. Oh, I'm inside the room now. That worm Marcus is causing ruckus down there on the lower floors. I can sense him. He must have stolen one of the leftover exo rigs to bypass my defenses to get that far. What is it that he wants to achieve? Come home with his warm hands open wide to console his poor wife to take care of his little daughter? <laughs> Obedient fool! He can never match my power! You will get to understand that soon. She... he... Yeah, she's just crazy. Like... has completely unbalanced ideas of what's even happening around her. She thinks I'm here to defeat her and conquer her. Hello? Sleeping quarters, I guess? Secret? Secret! Kinetic coil. Successful hits deal a lot of damage, but missed attacks deal some damage to you? This self-inflicted damage can be mitigated by increasing your resistance. So it's resistance... type damage? So it's 75 damage against enemies or 20 damage against myself. Bonus against mechanical. Plus 15% combat, plus 5 precision. Wow. That's probably an incredible, incredible weapon to have if you are actually a, a specialized, if you actually specialized in uh, using maces. It's like if you don't, if you don't really miss, especially with the f plus 5 precision and a plus 20, like plus 15% combat, that's probably really big if your combat score is actually good. I wish I had a plus 15% tech on any item ever. The highest I found is this 10, I think. Wow. Marchers. Compare. 80 integrity, 1 combat, 1 tech, 1 toughness, 20 resistance. 45 integrity, 15 resistance. It's actually an upgrade. Wow. It's an upgrade over the actual stat that was the reason I was using this, which is the resistance, that incredibly specific niche. But on top of that, it's also gives you one to all stats and it gives you like double the integrity. I'm at 60% resistance, just passive. That's fantastic. There's also a neat little sequence of little hidden buttons there, huh? Now we're at two out of three. So I found one in Laura's office. I kind of figured there'd be one in her office. It'd be it'd be wasteful if there wasn't one in her office, right? There was one in my office. Just such an important character. Die! Fuck. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. It's such an abrupt change to everything on the screen and your surroundings and the audio cue and everything. Even though it's the thing that's always there. God, screw you. Like, legit, is it the button? It's gotta be the button, right? Ah. Uh, that's actually terrifying when it happens. Just the weird loss of control and being in a different spot that abruptly. Like, <laughs> the first time I walked in the room, I was prepared. I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna... 
you know, it's, it's the big bad Laura room. What could happen? Oh no! And then someone. So when I got teleported, I was like, okay, that's not. It's not what I expected, but I was expecting something. But just being abruptly teleported for no reason is like, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha! Why? It was my room, right? Right next to hers. I'm wondering if somebody else has a secret. There's one more secret in the offices. And like, where else would it be, right? For me, it makes the most sense to be in one of their offices, specifically. Because otherwise, I don't know where I'd expect it to be. This kind of door is suspicious to me, by the way, because it's a completely unblocked door. Which makes me wonder if it'll open somehow. Like, this is where I would expect secrets to be. But I don't see a thing to touch. And you're just the front door, right? Yep. And we've been up and down that area a lot. How about you? Do you have a weird unblocked door? You, Yeah, you all do, don't you? Yours is right here. Them all having a singular door that's, like, clearly unblocked makes them really suspicious. But if they all have it, then it's gonna be hard to track it down. That might have been an intentional attempt at camouflage. What is that thing hanging down? Come on, I've only got one secret to go, and I want it. I want it. Oh, it'd be really sneaky if you had to, like, reach through the bookcase to get it. Like, it was slightly hard to see as a result. Oh. Hey there. Oh, you press the button in this dude's room. And then the other room has it. I was totally right about the suspicious wall. Neat. Um... The extractor? Whoa, 15 integrity restoration per hit. Neat. Not very strong, though. It does more damage than my current weapon, but it doesn't have any of the bonus damage, obviously. Other than that, it's probably identical. Yeah. It's just, it just that the only real point, besides the fact that it does do technically more damage, ignoring the obvious giant bonus you get for fighting big guys with this one, is that this one does, uh, 15 in integrity restored per hit, hit uh... That might be good for a long-term fight. The problem is just that it's 15 per hit. That means if you want to restore 100 hit points, you need to hit somebody six times. Seven times, successfully. Then you get 105 hit points. Because I, I, I guess it depends on whether or not it scales. If they scale the hit points, then you're better off. If they don't scale the hit points, then, well, it's 15. You can admittedly attack fast, so I like I guess be between that and the life leech, you have several forms of health loss mitigation. So it's not to be neglected entirely. Yeah, before I leave, I'm freaking going into my audio logs and notes and looking for anything that reflects these things. I any six digit code I can glean, I'm gonna try to use. That thing has me suspicious, because there, they, there could be infinite, not not literally infinite, but there could be a lot of potential secrets hidden there. So here's the other doorway. Haven't been here for a while. There it is. I was like, what was that sound? The Abrogator. Use it like a key to destroy a Fumium-powered barrier. Needs to be fully charged in order to work. Automatically charges up from the destroyed enemies. I need to equip this then, right? For it to work at all? Thank you, my little mermaid. 
It's just in my inventory? Can't equip it. Oh, you know what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a big fight upstairs, probably, where I'm gonna have to restore this thing. It's nice that the... I mean, it's nice that our daughter still helped us and everything, but I'm a little concerned about how she, we need to bribe her with the teddy bear to save the world. Not the world or whatever, but to win this thing. Like, she wouldn't just help us by default. We had to, like, get her to help us. Slightly less, uh, actually a little bit more mermaid-like, I guess. There's still four secrets in this floor. I, I found all the ones in the offices, so we can pretty much just not go there again, but... I still have to find all the ones up here, and I'm betting we're having a fight right now. The door was even closed, no? I need to use a charged up abrogator to destroy the barrier. Yes. I mean, I only just got the abrogator. How do I charge it up? Wait, what? Like... What if I'm out of enemies to fight? What then? Like, if I beat every enemy in the game, can the abrogator not be filled or something? Or enemies gonna be in the office now? Or... Oh, this is a weird problem. Like, what if I beat every enemy in the game already? Now, then what happens? Um... I am genuinely concerned right now. Do I need to load- do I need to replay the floor? And come back when- and try to save enemies for after the abrogator? Also, what happens if I walk into this? You can't. I need to use a charged up abrogator to destroy the barrier. I don't remember where this was going before. Oh yeah, here. I wonder if there's a code I can type in that brings more enemies back? Am I in trouble? I hope I'm not in trouble. Um... Can I just like... Need oh... That's silly. Hey, tip for the devs. Maybe add a patch where like when you click on it, when you have the abrogator, it's just like, oh, he has it and just uses it. Cause that, I don't know if that's an, I don't know, maybe people will come, maybe people will think of that normally. I feel like that was kind of unintuitive. I feel like, I feel like I might not be the only one confused by that. Okay, so that was the blah, non-problem, we're done. Uh. Let's see. Four secrets. Where the... Alright. So it begins. Abrogated. There we go. That's my end game save. Time to go pixel hunting on this floor.